All right, join us now on Inside TBT. Mike Dom, Andres Felice, and GM slash coach Mike Latua. First and foremost, congrats on the big-time win, the first ever win for House of Pain and TBT. Yeah, we're excited, man. We're excited. These guys uh, these guys are – number one, they're awesome players, but number two, they're, they're awesome guys, and they love being around each other. And, uh, you know, I thought that was kind of the product tonight. We've seen it. We've seen it all week in practice, and uh, it's nice to see that translate to the floor, no doubt. Uh, fellas, my first question for you guys, was that any fun today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. I really love playing with this team. And, uh, uh, you know, everybody's dialed in, you know, to sacrifice and play for each other and do all that stuff. And uh, that's, what really, that's what I really love about this team. It was just nice to get out on the court again, um, you know, playing some live basketball where – we haven't done that in, you know, four months. Um, and it's something, too, that's obviously very special for everyone on the outside to, to watch, too, and, and something to look forward to um, sports-wise. And it's a chance for people to come together again. Andres, you know, 20-point game, basically shutting down one of the best shooters ever. Was the game plan for you to just be absolutely dominant on both sides of the ball? I mean, everybody was down in, you know what I mean? Like, um. That's what was our plan. Like, we got to be tougher than, than everybody else on the floor. So, that's our plan for every game. So, that we're not <laughs> we're not going to be sure on that. We're just trying to be out tough, everybody on the floor. And uh, that's our job. Uh, my question is for Coach uh, Michael Tulip. Uh, Coach, uh, as a friend of yours, I was very proud of your performance today. Um, was there something special? Uh, was there anyone who sent you some texts or anything that uh, kind of – encouraged you about your coaching uh, job today beforehand? Yeah, I mean, I think we just talked about this in, in the media a little bit, but it, it really does take a village. Uh, there's a lot of people that have had a hand in this. Obviously, Cameron Liss is here helping me out, and uh, James Herring is back. Uh, he's the dope boy at Dayton. He's, he's helped me out a ton. He was my, he was my GA at Illinois. And, um, you know, a lot of guys off my right state staff, Jamal Walker um, from Illinois. Uh, you know, I'm not in the coaching profession, so I can't – sit here and, and act like I got it all figured out. So you use your resources and, and uh, you know, and, and, you know, I like, I like to think I have a good basketball acumen, but it, it helps when you have some really, really good players that play really, really hard and play really, really together. So um, they made me look good for sure. Andres and Mike, you know, this was your guys' first time experiencing the Elam ending. You know, they aren't all like this where you're up 15 to 20 points going into it, but what were your initial thoughts on the Elam ending? Finish it, finish out the game, you know, finish out the game. That was my, our mentality, and that's what we came here for. Yeah, kind of what Dre said. I mean, obviously, um, when you have a target score, you don't just want to relax. You want to keep the foot on the gas, and obviously, you got to be smart too because if you're up, you know, like you said, 15, 20 points, you can't just start getting lacked days ago with the ball. You still have to be secure and making sure you're taking care of it and getting the right possession. So that's something too that obviously I think that we'll look forward into the future of just making sure we're, we're taking the right shots, getting the right shots. But uh, I thought our guys did a great job of adjusting to it tonight. Uh, Mike, just to shift gears a little bit, my favorite part of the game tonight was being able to go on Twitter and seeing everyone tweet about the dominator. Um, was that something that you were really excited about being back on ESPN? Um, are you excited to go look at the ball? see every other video saying, Mike is dominating, and the dominator does it again. Are you, are you excited to relive that a little bit? <laughs> I, I definitely am. Um, you know, it's kind of like a throwback to college. Um, you know, I, I know people love taking that dominator pun and just using it wherever they can. So, um, obviously, a huge shout-out to everyone who supported us and watched us tonight. I know South Dakota State was tuned in. I know, you know, my family, my girlfriend, everyone was tuned in from all over the nation. So, um, it's pretty cool to have the backing and support that we do and just see how involved people are on social media because you know they're paying attention. So, I know there's no fans here tonight, but we have fans across the nation right now rooting for us. This is for uh, GM and coach Mike, not player Mike. I'm sure you've been hyping up. Mike Dom to the to the team saying, I know you guys haven't played with him, but he's one of the best scorers I've ever seen. Were you happy to see it kind of come true tonight? I think that's the really, really cool thing about our team is uh, when I had let the team know that we added Mike Dom, um, they were so fired up. They, they know who Mike Dom is and they know what he brings to the table. Um, I think maybe you guys saw him score a couple buckets tonight, obviously, but um, 
but man, he's, he's, he's a heck of a teammate. Like he really is. He, and I can't say enough about it when, uh, even just from the first practice, honestly, from the first zoom call, um, he's dialed in, he's bought in, you know, he brings such a, uh, such a high level of energy and, and, uh, you know, and, and, and these guys, you know, when they see him hot, you know, they feed him. And, and, and that's really cool to see when you have five Illinois guys and then the guy who's not an Illinois guy, um, you know, you got them feeding them. And, and that's, that's, that's kind of the, a microcosm of, of our team, uh, you know, because it really doesn't matter who it is as long as the common goal is, uh, is playing hard and, and playing together and putting the ball in the basket and getting stops. Like, we don't, we don't care who it is that's, that's going to shine for sure. So, uh, in case you guys didn't know or weren't aware, you guys are playing the defending champs uh, next game, Carmen's crew. Um, I might not be the right guy to talk about Ohio State basketball, having knowing very little about Ohio State basketball, but apparently they're returning a really good team. Um, what do you guys know about them, and um, how are you going to beat them? Uh, I mean, it's going to take a lot. You know, obviously, they've been so successful in the past and, and winning it last year. Um, they're going to be a tough group to, to play against, but I think our guys are going to do such a good job of locking in on all the little things, mentally watching film on the guys, knowing our coverages, and just going out and executing. Um, you know, we're not going to go into the game overconfident, but we're not going to go in, uh, you know, kind of scared or hesitant because, you know, we can play and they have to cover us. So at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a great basketball game. Uh, it's going to take a lot of mental force. My last question, last question. really uh, applies to all three of you, actually. But you guys are all in situations where you're trying to further your basketball careers, maybe get to the next level than where you are right now. How much are you focused on that when playing in this tournament versus just focusing on winning the games? Um, for me, like um, like I say on the, on the media, I just um, I'm really focused about um, winning a team first, and then we're gonna worry about the individual. And because if we keep winning, like everybody gonna eat, and that's what's so good about it. We really focus and dial in about winning this tournament, and uh, that's what you know. We we know that's gonna take care of uh, after. Yeah, one of, one of the big things we talked about coming into the game, you know, you're playing on ESPN. And, and basketball is a game that, that at times can uh, – tries to force you to be selfish. So just telling these guys to be actively – you know, the best thing is when you're quiet, you know, it means you're thinking too much. Um, so go out there and, and actively, you know, get your teammate, actively the guy up. Because we keep worrying about each other. I mean, I think that was, that was you know, the first thing we said in the hub before we took the quarters, make somebody better tonight. Um, and I thought they all made each other better, which was, which was just awesome to see. I know, uh, I know a lot of people probably enjoyed watching that. Well, fellas, uh, as you, as you can uh, imagine, you guys dominated. So congratulations on the win. Yeah, you just had to do it. You just had to do it. You just had to do it. Make sure you guys find time to celebrate a little bit tonight um, before you start putting your nose in the film and stuff. But uh, congratulations again, and, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah. Hey, hey thanks, out. guys. Thank appreciate you guys, guys. Mike, appreciate Mike Dom, it. you got to listen to what Dockage was saying about you. You'll enjoy it. Okay, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll find the film. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.